Hello, my name is Amanda and I am currently an IV remodulin patient. And I'm just coming on here to show how I uh, choose to cover my central line when I take a shower. Um, most of these supplies should be covered by a credo. Um, there is an item that you just buy at your local grocery store. Um, first of all, you're going to want to get the, uh, it's six by eight, um, frame style Tegaderm. And you want to make sure that it's the frame style, not the other stuff. It'll just make it more difficult. Um, and then you're going to need four by four, uh, gauze. So you're going to take your, um, your frame style and you're going to open it up and you're going to see how there's the little frame style around it. Well, inside here is where we're going to put the gauze and that will sit on your, um, your site so that the tegaderm doesn't stick to it and rip it off. Um, when you open up your gauze, you're going to have, there's going to be two, uh, pieces of gauze. So you're going to open this up and see how you've got this, this part is open and this part is the close end. Well, I'm gonna put this side down and I'm going to cut off the excess. Um, Cause you wanna measure and kind of see how much you're gonna need to cut off. Um, <clears throat> and I choose to put the folded side up because it's, then it doesn't, It'll separate on you, and sometimes it's been known to uh, stick through because it's a it's such a very thin layer that sometimes it sticks. So just to be better safe than sorry, um, my opinion. So then you're just gonna set it inside. This I might have cut a little off, but you're gonna stick it inside that um, frame style, and it'll stick nicely in there. Um, so then you'll see that you have just a little tiny bit left over down here. So with your other piece, again, you're going to want to cut on the folded side so that it doesn't separate. So you don't usually need much. Um, and then on the ends, I tend to cut off what I, the excess, but I round it because the bottom is rounded and it just, for some reason, it makes it easier for me anyway. I don't, it's kind of a personal preference thing. So you're gonna cut that off. And that will lay perfectly down at the bottom. So then there you go. And then all this is still, you know, sticky. So with the XX, excess stuff, you're gonna take it and you're gonna rope, uh, wrap it around your connector. And a lot of people, like when I was in the hospital, like to use Tegaderm. Well, Tegaderm is very, very sticky. So you don't want to um, use that because then what happens is you find yourself using um, scissors to cut the Tegaderm off. And oh my gosh, you don't want to get your scissors anywhere near your line if, if you can all possible avoid it. So anyway, so here's your connector. So you're going to take this. And you're gonna take it and you're gonna fold, you're just gonna wrap it, tuck it, and you're just gonna fold it up, just like that. And then, that's what press and seal's for. And I just find that this stuff works better because it's not sticky and it's it comes off really easy. So I'm gonna have to undo that, but here. So you take your, now this stuff lasts forever. I buy this at Costco because you can buy everything bulk at Costco. And I think this came in a three pack. Anyways, it took me almost a year to use the first pack. So, so you're going to cut off about that much. And you're going to cut it into three pieces because you really don't need a whole lot. Um, and then your third piece, you'll just stick it on top of the box and save it for your next shower. So you're gonna take these, uh, cut them, cut them in little squares. And they're gonna be like this big. So what I do, what I have found to be easier, 
um, when you go to take it off is take the sticky side. See this, this is a sticky side. So you're gonna fold the corners like this, okay? And then when you go to wrap this up, um, it makes it easier to come off because sometimes it likes to stick to the, um, sometimes it likes to stick uh, more than you would think it would like to stick. Rarely, but occasionally it does, so it's better to be safe than sorry. So, you just wrap this up like that. And then you're gonna take one of these and you're going to, you're going, here, I'm gonna probably stand up a little bit. And you're gonna put it on where you have a little bit up here and then you've got it covered halfway down and you're gonna close it tightly until it sticks to the other side. Okay, and then you're just gonna take it like that with your thumb and you're just gonna roll it over. And then see when this corner, I just fold a little bit like that and then I fold it over. So kind of sticks, but when you get out of the shower and you go to take it off, you know, and then it peels off a little bit easier. You have like a little flap to peel off. So then you take the other one and you put it down there, pinch this up till it sticks, and then you're gonna fold. all the way over and you're going to do the same thing and pinch off a little corner and then you're going to fold it and then make sure it's nice and snug so then that way it's uh it's all nice and snug and it's just rolled up and then when you get in the shower what i do is i have a um a cabinet that sits on the outside of my shower now you could use you could probably use the shower hooks um, that your uh, shower curtain stick on to hang your bag with your pump in it. And then, and I try to get it closest away from the water as possible. And then I'll run the tube up and I have a hook on the side of my shower where the cord will hang. So the connector isn't quite getting soaked. I mean, it might get splashed a little bit with water, but again, you've got it covered with, you know, two pieces of gauze and two pieces of, uh, glad person seal so it stays dry for me um then when you go to put this on try not to show too much here i take doesn't matter which end i find it easier to put that end top and you just put it right above and make sure that this cotton the gauze is all over this i don't know if you can see sometimes it leaves red marks you know and it might hurt a little bit pulling your skin off but um you kind of get used to it but it keeps me dry and then that way I'm able to take a shower and not have to um worry about my site getting wet so I hope this helps you thank you